bling. I don't know if you felt it, but I haven't felt that spark I was hoping to feel. I'd, I'd rarely have gone for the curvier person. I'm sexy. No. <laughs> wow. Dance me. Right? Not you didn't think I was sexy in my fucking wedding dress, and you didn't think I was sexy in my gorgeous bikini today. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what hope there is. Look beyond that, and what you need to do is look beyond that. Because my personality, my confidence, and B, you should see qualities bigger than my clothes size. Over everything in my head this morning. It's a shame that I'm not attractive to the person I've married. I looked beautiful last night, but actually I felt good, and I asked him, like, am I attractive and he's strong? Better. I would argue. Do you think you could have phrased it better? Without bringing fucking size and shape into it. Be phrased. <sighs> fucking monster. <sighs> fucking monster. <sighs> is she I mean, listen, <laughs> this is definitely not the uh, honeymoon in paradise. They're in Jamaica. They're supposed to be enjoying the sun, but instead, well, he's out here talking about, well, Casper's out here talking about his feelings, you know, talking about how he doesn't um, feel the connection right now, which, listen, I get it. But the whole idea of being on here isn't necessarily to just have a connection with someone physically. It's also to have a connection with someone mentally. But I do understand that you also need to be attracted to the person that you are with. And if he feels like he, as if he's not attracted to her, it is a bit of a sticky one. But, but, he, by the end of the episode, he does come out and say that, you know what? I'm going to be open-minded and I'm actually going to give this a chance and, uh, you know, not be the way I am. And to be fair with you, the crazy thing about it is that he says that he wants a woman that is petite or he prefers a woman that's more petite, it's more of his, uh, his flavor. But the thing is, bro, you're not even in shape. He's talking about it as if he's in crazy shape, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not saying that necessarily means anything, but I'm just saying I find it really wild sometimes when people have opinions and other, but yet they don't even look after themselves as well as the person that they're trying to, you know, um, just have their peace with, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I I do like the way she handled herself, you know? She definitely kept it a box. She definitely stood in business. She definitely allowed him to know that, hey, like, the way you went about it, personally, I don't like it definitely put him in a position where he had to kind of justify himself or explain himself, which I get it. But I also like the fact that she also said, just because, you know, this, this and that, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't at least try. So I like the fact that she's in there. She, she, she's come on the show and she has every intention to at least try. And she doesn't want to just, you know, back out like maybe she normally would. Uh, and to be honest with you, she actually reacted very, very strong in a way where I say that uh, some people would have reacted in a whole different ballgame. So I really do like her response to be fair. It was cool, calm and collected. Cool to a certain degree. But uh, I hope I hope things can pick, they can pick themselves up and uh, things do turn around. But nonetheless, though, let's get into the uh, next couple. She contradicts herself because after the conversation yesterday, we had sex. No. Eve decided to sleep in another room again. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, some people just work with the store. I just, I feel like you, you say that you want to like communicate and you want to talk about things. Walk, you, run, you go away, you go and sleep in another bed. You, you know, it just, it's just not sitting well with me. It's just... I think you're mean to me, Charlie. No. I do, I think you're snappy with me, I do, and I don't know why. Oh, have I snapped at you? It's out again, left me sleeping on my own again. You asked us. Um, after having sex with me, you left me without no words. You got up, you walked out, you slammed the door. Which was walk out on me, leave for the night, not message me back. You ran away again and went and slept in another room. Like, it, you said that you wouldn't do that again. And so your daughter's trying to get your attention because you left me alone again. I'm not doing this. Yeah, I, I took myself out of a situation. But every single time it got really straight and you get angry. Yeah. You don't respect anything I say. That or is do. so. Are you telling me I don't respect? That's not what you mean to do, but that's how I'm feeling. So okay, I'm allowed to tell you that. Ready? I know you're gonna do it. Yep, exactly yep, the same yep, thing. Yep, yep. Again. Still shouting at me. I'm not shouting. I will be leaving the experiment. There'll be no moving into any apartment. Nothing. You see, this one's an interesting one because I know you know you got two women here. One of them was the lady of the dark, and I do apologize. I'm still learning names. Uh, you know, she is somebody who already admitted that she f easily falls in love. But then all at the same time, the other woman, you know, with the, with the short blonde hair, she also made it abundantly clear that uh, she does have her barriers up, you know, and it, it can be challenging for her. But I do feel like the woman in the blonde is, in my opinion, making it harder than it needs to be. You know, I don't feel like as if necessarily the other woman is really um, trying to gaslight or trying to, you're always, always snapping at her. I mean, she could be. But I, I'm not really seeing it. I just think that when it comes to having important conversations or hard-hitting conversations, the woman in blonde just doesn't want to know. 
you know, and I feel like she just gets her back up on the wall rather, rather than just being clear and open and, you know, having a healthy communication. She just wants to be difficult. And that's the vibe that I'm getting. But it's early in the season. Obviously, right now, you know, she's saying that I'm done, you know, and uh, well, this is not going any further. But I'm pretty sure they'll be back for another episode. So I guess that's the way to see. To be honest with you, I got a feeling they're going to be that couple that we're going to think that, yes, they're going to go separate ways. But then they decided to, to do a whole U-turn because that always happens, you know, each season bloody production but um we have to wait and see wait and see it's very early very i would say it's, it's way too early right now to be given any deep analysis on whether i think certain people are gonna work or not work because you know yeah it's, it's early days but nonetheless though i'll catch you guys for the uh for the next one thank you so much for your time peace